thought that we were just friends. But you never thought the way you looked at him. The way you guys... I mean, really, Kate. People aren't as dumb as they seem. But you don't think she's gonna spread it or something, do you? No. I'm sure she's plenty busy at the moment. You're fine. That's the last thing I need. I don't know what I'm gonna do, Ray. I feel lost. Shocked. I still feel like I'm gonna see him tomorrow. I know. I feel the same way. It's Ray? Just... Hey guys, look, it's Ray! It's hey, Ray. Uh, what's up? No, I'm just come back from Bobby's thing. Yeah, same. Sorry, come here. Why? What's up? No, just come on. I'll be right back. So are you, man? I know that you and Bobby are really close. I've, uh, I've been better. All right, so I know you're kind of shy about dating, but this guy I know, Tommy, he thinks you seem cool or whatever, so I thought I'd give you his number. Oh, uh, thanks. No problem. I got you, my man. And what are you hanging out with that girl for? Her just straight. Her? Nah. She was just upset about the whole Bobby thing, and I felt bad. <laughs> She's a mess. Wow. Heteros. <laughs> Always so damn <laughs> empathetic. <laughs> But I'll let you get back to your little date. Why don't you go play softball with her or something? Shut up, man. <laughs> Whatever. Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. Zero, Ray. What's up to? Nothing. Just checking the news feed. Doesn't anybody have anything better to do than talk about how much they love their boyfriends and girlfriends? Well, you know what they say. What do they say? I don't know. <laughs> You're so annoying. Ouch. Wow. Good to see you got your strength back. Were you the Hulk in another life or something? Dinner's ready, buddy. So Chandler, how's your day? Fine. Did you say anything about Bobby in school today? Kinda. The teachers talked about it for about a minute in each class, but there wasn't a memorial or anything. I was kinda surprised. Oh, and I got a 78 on my math test. You mean the one we got you the tutor for? No, no, no. The other math test. Yes, that one. We'll just work on bringing it up before the end of the quarter, okay? You might not want to tell Dad about that one. You know I'll cut up and get some grades. Okay, thanks. What about you? How's your day? Well, Jan, you know, Bobby's mother. I know her, Dad. Yeah. Well, anyway, she came to work today, and everybody at the office was shocked, obviously. She seemed to be shocked, too. About the death or that it was a suicide? Well, I'm not quite sure, in my opinion. Hey, Jan? Dad. How's it going? <laughs> well, I am starved. What's for dinner? We ordered pizza. Should be here any second. Now, where is Ray? Ray, I called you ten minutes ago. Come on. I'm coming, I'm coming. Sorry, guys. Today must have been real hard for you, Bubba. Yeah, it, uh, it wasn't fun. It's such a shame. And a lost future to both. Okay. Stop, Dad. Look, I know you guys were best friends or something, but I don't know. I thought I saw something for you too. Someday. Oh. Jim, come on. Not today. Dad, look. All I'm saying Dad, Dad, shut up! Bobby was straight. Well, you never know, I guess. Man, what would his mother say if they knew? Yeah, they hide it well. Don't think that Ray is... You guys are insane! What? Why would you say that to him? Today! Think! Well, anyway, Ray's had boyfriends before. He's fine. We're fine. You wanna go and check on him? I think we should just let him pull up with it. You know, clear his head. Okay, you're right. So how was work?
He just proposed to Mr. Hughes. What? No, I'm kidding. I think he said something about King and Queen announcements in half an hour. Oh. How are they even gonna name King and Queen? I think Max 10 Sr. has actually showed up to this thing. See, there are perks to being a freshman. Not only do we get beat up, but we also make up the majority of the amazing winter formal. Yeah, this is pretty great. Can't we just leave already? I'm glad my best friend is such an optimistic person. All I want right now is a slice of pizza. And all I want is a million dollars. So why'd you come here anyway? Um, Mr. Hughes is gonna say something about um, Bobby, and he wants me to stand up there while they do. Oh, that should liven things up. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Morgan. Where? Over there. Oh my god. Oh why my god. Why are you freaking out right now? Chill yourself. Oh my god. It's Morgan Silver. Well, he does have quite the reputation, but why don't you just go talk to him? Are you kidding? He's a senior. And he doesn't even know I exist. Could you be anyone here? Doubtful. So, why'd you come here? Well, they're gonna say something about Bobby and they want me to stand up there while they do. Oh, guess what, by the way? Oh, you have 24 hours to live. And you wanted to tell us that you're straight. <laughs> and the 1984 called and they want your dress back. <laughs> I'm not straight, but guess who is? Who? Bobby Flanagan. What? Bobby? No freaking way! Tina, how can you possibly know that? Well, Chrissy told me that Bella told her that she overheard a conversation between Bobby's mom's friend and another mom at the wake, and they were discussing it or something. Yeah, but those could just be rumors. Yeah, remember that time Bella told everyone she had a camp girlfriend? She never everyone found out she was made up? Okay, but... And the time you told us Alexis's dad went to jail for kidnapping Shamu from SeaWorld? <laughs> Alright, that's fair, <laughs> that's but... That time Chrissy crashed her pants at elementary school? <laughs> what the hell is that to do this conversation? <laughs> Nothing, I mean, come on, it was just funny. Like, it was fourth grade, who still does that? Anyway, believe you guys want to believe, but I'm telling you, it's true. Yeah, you're telling us. But I'll believe it when I see it. Bobby was into football. <laughs> well, so is Landon. He's practically married to Chris. I know. Wait, <laughs> when did Chris and Landon get married? Oh Morgan, are you serious? No, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, man. So they're not married. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, can they just announce King Queen so we can leave already? Why are you so anxious? Big plans tonight? Well, I think Christy James might invite me to her house later. Really? I don't know. She seemed really flirty. When was this? Before, when we were getting soda. Oh my god, Jess, you need to get over your obsession with this group of people. Why are you so eager to be friends with them? Excuse me, I'm not. <laughs> Jess, we're your best friends. It's okay to admit that you're a social climber. Excuse me? I'm not the social climber. Look at Kate, she was always hanging around with Ray. And then before that, look at her, she was best friends with Bobby. But that's clearly different. I mean, she's been friends with those guys since she was practically a fetus. Slightly different than kissing that group's ass throughout high school, hoping to get invited somewhere. I'm sorry, Kate, but honestly, since when does being friendly with people equal social climbing? Whatever. I just think. So who's ready to hear? You?